what's good guys welcome back to the channel once again thanks for tuning in if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my content so this year is going to be an absolute banger as you guys may have seen from my last video the 24 hour survival we're doing another one in two weeks time and this one is going to be hardcore so do not miss that one absolutely amp for that one so today i'm going over some old ground and some new ground so we're in hunt for some more species this year i'm sick of seeing bass i cannot be bothered with bass anymore so we're going for hunting some different species on my target list this year so the two main that i want to hit this year are gilt heads and triggers now i've heard the triggers have slowly started coming in and yesterday tony sykes and his buddy went and got some gilt heads so it's given me a little bit of optimism today so i'm going to be heading out over old ground which i know would supposedly hold them also going to hope to hit some dover sole and stuff like that so today no bass they're not on the agenda today i want to hit some nice big pollock triggers hopefully maybe some gilts but definitely dover sole and some flatfish i've been hunting sand for the past three months now and i'm struggling to find any flatties but i haven't gone over some old ground yet so we're heading out old ground for the first time this year to go and maybe get some flatties we'll see what happens but no bass today i mean unless they're really big you know we're talking three kilo fish i'm not really going to be shooting any bass depends how i feel but if i'm going to blank then i'll be shooting one on the way in but apart from that let's get suited let's get out of there <laughs> Feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing Take me for granted and you know I'm leaving I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving I could take this crap from seeing to believing Got a taste for blood and my tongue keeps bleeding From the words I spit, so shock, so freezing, so so we start off the day hunting the usual flatty ground that I know tends to hold them. When you're hunting for flatties, you need to look for that perfect location. Now I know that this ground is a bit rocky, it's a bit stony with the sand and the waves, but I have been successful off of this ground. You tend to find the flounder and the place like to sit on top and they don't tend to bury themselves too much. Flatties also like to be around broken reef. They like to be hugging up to the rocks and the reef sections with sand. The harder to find flatties that will be buried in nice sand, take a little bit more of an eye to be able to spot. I tend to find the best technique for finding flatties is hovering about a meter to two meter off the seabed and swimming along scouting the ground. As you can tell here, I spotted my first flounder on old ground and I thought I was quids in. It was sat on the surface and had a nice shot. It started to take off so I quickly made sure I got the fish as my flopper wasn't engaged. With flatfish you also need to be careful that when you shoot into the sand and you haven't stabbed them, to put your hand underneath them as if you pull your spear up, the fish will just slide off. So after a bit more time hunting on the flatty ground, I couldn't find much more. Usually th this place at this time of year tends to have loads of them. The conditions have been perfect for flatties, but just today wasn't my day. On 
on this dive here, this was my last dive on the old ground that I know, and I was heading onto newer marks to try and find some more species off of ground I haven't really adventured on. On this drop, I spotted this really good sized pollock. Now pollock are a hard one to hit, but I was so stealthy within my duck dive and my sneaking up style that I did not spook this pollock at all. I managed to get a nice shot in. It didn't run too bad. It was a good shot. Managed to secure the pollock and get it on the float. This was quite a big pollock for this sort of area in the depths of around 12 meters with not much structural feature. Pollock tend to like vertical faces and a lot of structure. So far so good. Not a bad sized pollock for this spot. Yep. <laughs> So moving out onto further ground and new marks, this was diving between the 12 to the 15 meter mark. I was really amped to try and find myself a Dover sole on this dive. This area is known for them and I've had great success rate getting soles out of this spot. So guys, so far so good. We've got one really good sized pollock for this place, which I was quite surprised. Really nice stealth shot on it. Great retrieval as well, it didn't run too much. We've got a flounder, no, a place actually, sorry, that obviously this is my main aim coming out here. We've bagged ourselves a cuttlefish as well. I don't know if you guys have seen it because I'm now diving, I found a really nice sand patch, but we're diving about 13 to 14 meters. I still haven't got the housing for my GoPro, so it keeps cutting out at about 10.5. So I don't know if you saw the cuttle or not, but I'm going to throw you in the float for a bit. I'm going to head down diving without the GoPro because I don't really want to mess my GoPro up too much anymore. And then we'll see what we come up with. See you in a bit. Hello! So guys, another cuttle. Ooh, we're doing alright today, you know. Pada! As you guys know me, I love an absolute mixed bag. I love hunting for those different styles of species and I love changing my hunting habits to suit each species. After getting a few more cuttlefish onto the float, I decided to hunt into some more kelpia areas with holes and cracks to look for some trigger fish. Now based off of my understanding of the area and how trigger fish work, I narrowed it down to some slim rocks and areas which could possibly hold them. Trigger fish like to be in caves and vertical cracks. You will need a torch when you're hunting for these as they can be quite hard to find. So far guys, not been too bad, just come for a little break, diving 10 to 15 meters for flatties is exhausting, so we're having a little break, a little bit of water, I'm going to gut these fish while I'm just chilling there, and um, yeah we're going we're gonna to head further out on the point, I'm only at my halfway point, um, hopefully I might try and see if there's a few more pollock, I might dive a little bit deeper and try and get some pollock, but on the way back in, we'll just hunt back through the flatty ground again, see what we can see. But pretty, pretty chuffed with uh, that pollock, to be honest with you, for here. So we've got that nice place too. It's a good cuddle. So it's not too bad. Ow! So back hunting again in the newer ground to try and find some flatties. It's good to get out and learn your local spots, learn the ground and learn what the species like. You'll find that your success rate will be a lot better if you are capable of doing this. A few bass hiding in the gullies and stuff, but today you are not on my agenda. 
whilst I was heading back in on the area that I thought triggers may be, I was lucky enough with great viz to spot one from the surface. I didn't know how triggers react as this is the first time I've seen one in open water, so I took it really carefully and took my shot from quite a distance. The trigger fish turned to show its aggressiveness, took the shot and managed to get the trigger. I was ecstatic this being my first trigger I've ever got. I came out here specifically for these and my hard work paid off. Check out the weird sounds this thing makes. They're not the prettiest of things but usually I find the ugliest fish tend to taste the best. Yes, this is what I come for. This is what I come for today. That and guilt. Fuck the guilt. I got the trigger. I saw the trigger. I knew the trigger was gonna hit. I go, oh! So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little bit different from the usual styles I do. I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of an insight of what goes through my mind and how I hunt for these different species. Lots of you know that I love a mixed bag. So this is just a little insight of how I actually go hunting for these things. The next video we'll be on is the full hardcore 24 hour survival. So until then, I'll see you on the next one and dive safe.